All right, guys, so due to the fact that, you know, we've been super busy at PSN, we're trying to get everyone prepared for the MLS is back tournament, you know, getting everyone uh, prepared with the groups, uh, what to look for with the team in itself. Uh, but I was actually blessed yesterday afternoon to actually inter do my first player interview. And let alone uh, being my first player interview, it was in Spanish. I was uh, lucky enough to interview Sergio Santos Gomes, uh, Philadelphia Union forward. Uh, unfortunately, though, um, it was a phone call and uh, being my first phone interview, uh, I decided to use the record setting on the iPhone and it did not get the whole thing. And it actually now just erased itself. Thank you, technology, right? Um, I was going to try to write an interview, uh, an article on PSM, but you know, with everything that we've been doing, trying to get everyone prepared as far as podcasts and, and video goes, I haven't had much time to write that in, write that article, and I prop and I don't have, I won't have enough time to do it uh, by tomorrow. Um, but in in the interview, it, it was really cool just to you know get the perspective of the player, of course, first off, but. Uh, especially a guy like Sergio Santos Gomes, uh, he was definitely uh, a little soft-spoken, a little timid. But uh, as the conversation went on, he got a little more comfortable. Uh, I got I got got him to crack a couple of smiles, which is really co uh, really cool to do. Um, but you know, of course, I, I asked him um, first off what the team is is like right now, uh, right now in quarantine in quarantine in the bubble uh, in preparation for the MLS back tournament in Orlando. And you know, pretty much what he said was, you know, what you expected. The team is is, is has high hopes. Um, they know they have a job to do, and they just want to represent Philadelphia. And of course, they they want to win uh, not only for the team but for the city of Philadelphia as well. And it's great to see that he understands how we are here in Philly. Of course, it's tough being away from family and him who has a, a new a brand new family essentially. Um, him and his and his girl live here in in the Philadelphia area uh, as they came from Chile and they just had a newborn child who's absolutely beautiful. We we got to talk about that. Um, you know, for me being a first generation American, uh, but proud Latino, as you guys can tell, um, it, I was I asked them, you know, what is it like, you know, having a young family um, and raising them here in America? And for him, you know, this this was a dream. This was a dream for him. You know, living his own version of the American dream, being able to live here in this country, uh, to work here essentially, but he's playing, he's, he's using his passion in order to live here. He loves soccer and through soccer, he was able to create a better future and a better life for him and his family. And um, as someone who comes from a hardworking household that I do, I really connected with that and it, it really touched me. Um, just to hear what he had to say as far as that goes. Um, of course, you know, we talked about um, the, the matchup against NYCFC as well to uh, just just to see his what, how he's feeling. And of course, you know, he brought up the matchups last season and there and how tough it is. We all know how tough it is to play against NYCFC. Um, but he thinks that with the high pressure that Jim Kirchin and the Philadelphia Union have, um, they're go they have enough talent and they are going to work their asses off and they're going to to you know go go in there and try to get three points which is really cool to see um i, I did also ask him how his partnership uh with casper shabilko has been because obviously these two we're expecting them to you know be the be the workhorse up top for for them they have a lot of responsibility not only do they have to play a little defense on the high press uh but they also play a little offense on the attack as well so um, this season, compared to last season, I talked about this in my um, my Philadelphia Union, uh, preview in the Group A preview for uh, PSN was that you know the you, last season we had a bunch of different forwards. You know, you, we saw Fafa, we saw Corey Burke for a little bit, we saw um, obviously Sergio Santos Gomes um, and Andrew Vooten. And this season, it feels like we have that position secured, right? We have no questions. It's Casper Shabilko and it's Sergio Santos Gomes. So for them, it's very, it's really important for us to have those guys uh, be on the same page. And it seems like they really are on the same page, which is great to see. Um, he he said that you know they have a great relationship. What they can understand, of course, there's a little language barrier with Sergio and Casper Shabilko, but they are starting to understand each other more. Their English has gotten a lot better since they have arrived in Philadelphia, which is great. Um, but they feels if they have like a brother like friendship and you you would expect that right because they play essentially the same position um and they have they kind of like feed off of each other in their play um but he he mentioned that the whole team is like that the whole team has this brother like mentality brotherhood like mentality um they all want to look out for each other and they're very tight 
And clear, it's clear as day. I mean, Cedric didn't have to tell me, but it's clear as day that this team uh, ha- has that has that mentality that they they are a family, and that's really what you want to see from your team. It doesn't matter what what sport it is. You really want to see that from your team. So that's really great to see. Um, I, I was blessed. That was really a great experience for me to talk to Sergio Santos Gomes. Um, he's someone that you know we have high hopes for here in Philadelphia. And I think he's going to have a great tournament and a great little career here. Um, hopefully soon enough, we actually did talk about that as well. Hopefully soon enough, uh, one day we will actually get to see Sergio Santos Gomes in a bigger league. No, you know, obviously, it's, you know, MLS is our league and we, we love the MLS. We love our union, but uh, we all understand what Europe means to uh, uh, soccer players worldwide. So um, sorry again, technology wasn't working for me and time <laughs> wasn't working with me as well. But, you know, my mentality is you find the way. And we and this is my way here. Of course, video is what I'm comfortable with. So uh, I wanted to just tell you guys my experience because, you know, talking to Sergio was something cool. And uh, Philadelphia Union, you want to want more interviews in, uh, with uh, Spanish speaking um, content creators, journalists, whatever you want to call me, then uh, definitely call me because I would, I would love to do this more often. So uh, uh, stay tuned for what well, we got. We got a whole bunch of stuff for you at PSN. We already made videos for you, previewing all the groups. Uh, breaking down every single position. We did talk about the forwards as well. That's actually going to be on my YouTube channel um, at, at El Parcero Philly. We got articles for you. Uh, Dubai Ruler podcast has been bumping, right? So we had uh, Jared Nisley on, uh, last week pre- uh, previewing every group in this tournament. And then this week to preview the uh, the the match against NYCFC, we had the soccer cool against. That was a fun-ass time. I cracked the hell up. Uh, it was always a fun time with the soccer cooligans, uh, but definitely check that out as well. So we got you all set, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, thank you so much to Sergio Santos Gomes and the Philadelphia Union for that again. And thank you for PSN for having your boys back. Until next time, guys, I'm in Parcero, Philly. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Dupe bomb, baby. Let's go.